It's here. Now, as a respectable YouTuber, it is my sworn duty to start with the customary unboxing. So here we go. Right, well now that's out of the way, I guess I should tell you that actually, truthfully, I've been messing around with this for a few days now, and I kind of love it. Yeah, it's a bit of a chunky boy, but it feels nice in the hand. So, emulation on Steam Deck, it's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, you probably know by now that it's a bit of a beast when it comes to emulation. In fact, it's really, really good. Whoa, what happened there? Well, you know that Steam Deck handles emulation like a champ, but how is it at general computing? Similar in performance to an Xbox One or PS4, or the fastest supercomputer in the entire world in 1997. There have been a lot of great handhelds released over the past few years for emulation, and I've been with my trusty GPDXD now for around six. But things change, people change. Fashions change and pocket change. So I'm going to spend some time messing around with this and see what it can do, not only as a handheld game system, but also as a general computing device. And with that in mind, let's see if we can do some video editing. My masochistic tendency is coming out again. How far can we get? Now, the Steam Deck runs its very own operating system, SteamOS, which is a Linux distribution created by Valve. And they made it super easy to get to the Linux KDE desktop. All you have to do is press the Steam button, go down to power and select switch to desktop mode. You can do a whole lot of stuff and install a ton of additional apps with very little effort. So to install the video editor I thought I could use, I just went to the app library and selected multimedia and picked one. And I went with one called, what was it? I went with one called Caden Live. Now, I know nothing about this application other than it should do what I need it to, which is edit video. The interface resembles a traditional non-linear editor like Adobe Premiere and operates in very much the same way. So it didn't take long to get up to speed. Application shortcuts, however, are a little different. Some are the same as Premiere, but not all. Caden Live offers full customizability and you can get by with just the mouse, like a Neanderthal, if you so choose. But if you're already familiar with Premiere, it actually includes a special profile which changes the shortcuts to be more like Premiere, so that'll get you up and going in no time. So I know the question everyone's thinking, and the first thing I looked at was performance. How is it? Well, a bit of a mixed bag really. Um, I threw my normal 4K 30 high bitrate video clips at it, and it didn't do great. It struggled. It really struggled a lot. Um, so for this video, I've just used a uh, low bitrate 1080p, which works a lot better. I also converted them to proxies, which are like lower resolution versions that you edit with. And then when you've done editing, you, you send it to a render and it actually uses the full resolution, well, 1080p resolution uh, original clips to render with. Does that make sense? I think it does. A lot of the effects and transitions you would expect are here including dissolves, whites and adds, each offering full customizability over timings, keyframing and so forth. Color correction was no problem either. In fact, what you're seeing here is this very video being edited. That's a bit meta, isn't it? What am I doing? Oh yeah. You need text overlays, just audio, and a whole lot more. Now rendering this video, this one you're watching, took around how long did it take? Oh, I don't know, because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> uh, I put it up on the screen, it took this amount of time. Whereas normally on my MacBook, it would take this amount of time, which is quicker. Heading live on Steam Deck and Premiere on my MacBook, about that. That's the difference. Now, I can't imagine many people had switched this workflow full time. But it's nice to know it exists as an option if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to edit a video and all you've got is a Steam Deck and a USB-C dongle and a power supply and a monitor and a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, from a practicality perspective and foregoing performance, it's not great. Not impossible, 
but not great. But really, performance is the biggest bottleneck here. The Steam Deck will do it, but at what cost? At what cost? Whoa, 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 future me here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Listen to me. I'm just about finished with the video, but I needed to come and tell past me that it really wasn't all that bad. It was actually pretty fun. It worked really well. Once I'd optimized the footage, got the proxies all up and running. There's a few things from Premiere that I missed, like Lumetri color correction. Honestly, like keyframing in Caden Live, it's a revelation. It's way better than in Premiere. Creating and using proxies in Caden Live was really straightforward. And it has compatibility with almost any video format thanks to FFmpeg. Even Premiere doesn't handle MKV out of the box. Overall, editing on Steam Deck with Caden Live was a really fun challenge. It could be a viable alternative to commercial video editing software. And I enjoyed it a lot. Now, back to past me. Beware the meta wars. Well, this whole thing probably took four times, five times longer to edit. I don't know, I haven't done it yet. Probably took a while longer to edit than it would have done normally. But hey ho, I'll do it for you guys to show you what's possible and why you probably shouldn't do it. So that's it, my first foray into Steam Deck ownership. And honestly, I love this thing. It's really, really good. Maybe not for video editing, but for playing games, it's really good. You should, um, you should consider it. I got the 64 gig version. Because originally I, I got the big one, the 512, and then I cancelled my order because I was like, do I really need the 512? It's a lot more expensive and I can just upgrade the SSD. Um, so that's what I plan to do in the future. At the moment I've got 512 gig uh, SD card, which is fine. It's fine, put all my ROMs on there and other games. It's wicked, I love it. Stay tuned. I've got more Steam Deck stuff. Oh, check out my other stuff. I've got like things on, uh, you know, Mr. FPGA. You haven't seen that? You probably have, because most of you guys seem to be digging that. So yeah, check it out, check out the channel. You know what to do. If you like the video, give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, please. Until next time, you're steamy, I'm done.